All right, we're live. Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings, family. I know I told you guys I was going to go live last night. You know, I usually go live on Friday nights, but I was super busy last night and I just needed some rest. So I'm here today. Peace and blessings, man, to everyone joining the chat. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. This one's going to be about how most people have already received the mark. Most people are being deceived by Satan, as the word says. It says Satan deceives the entire earth. Okay. It also says in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, it says, when there is no vision, the people perish. Be he that keep the law, happy is he. So this video, I'm going to be giving, because it's better to, to, to understand spiritual warfare and you know Satan's schemes when you can see it visually through these cartoons. That's why these videos are super powerful. And I just want to give a shout out to Fox 600 because he is a creator of uh these animations for those who uh, want to know i'll put his link in the description too if you guys check out his channel make sure you guys subscribe to his channel as well too he's on fire for god what's up kate what's up thomas what's up uh there's a whole bunch of people in the chat what's up world priesthood i don't want to i, I want to get straight to the point so you know thank you everyone that's joined the chat let's let's play the video let's go Okay, for those who don't know, um, he is death, so there's no sound in his video, so I'll just go over the sound. So, so this is prophetic animation is given to people who seek and hunger for the kingdom of God. So this is who this video is about. Those who are hungering have a thirst for God, a thirst to seek after God's kingdom and his righteousness. This video is for you. So God allows Satan to rule the world, the whole world. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Satan is not in full control. His power is limited by God. Also want to say, since my webcam, I try to play around with the settings. This is as small as I can make my camera, but I'll go over the words that are blocked. And I said this on a video multiple times, how Satan is the God of this world. And he had a whole bunch of Christians saying, oh, Mark, don't say that. That's not true. And I started to realize, like, do people actually read the Bible? Like, do they actually read it or are they just like just religious and play going to church and just, you know, following that religious system? Like the Bible makes it clear that Satan is the God of this earth. God allows him to. But this is what happened when people read the Bible without wisdom, without knowledge and without understanding. So they get mad at me when I give them, you know, certain scriptures. But that's what the word says. Read it for yourself. OK. Um, and like I said, my webcam is blocking the word. So I'll make sure I'll read over the things that is blocking. So let's go. Let's go. So it says. Every one of you still live in the physical world where you can see trees, houses, birds, seas and everything. So as you can see, it looks normal, just like in the real world. But the Bible says uh, the spiritual wickedness in high places. This is exactly how it is. But it says, but you cannot see your enemies everywhere in the spiritual realm on earth. Okay, we can't see the spiritual realm with our eyes. Okay, now sometimes God does open our eyes to see certain things. But for the most part, when we go outside, we, we look up, we see the sky, we see everything's nice and beautiful. But this is how it is, guys. This is exactly how it is. God opens your eyes so you can see everything in the spiritual realm in the world. Okay, those who have the Holy Spirit, we can see certain things that other people can't see, so they call us crazy and weird. That's why demons are called unseen enemies. Okay, you're gonna be called weird and crazy once you start to really see what's really taking place in this world, okay? By the people of the world, or even by other people who profess to be Christians. Okay, all unseen enemies must score every human in the world. Okay, those who are not walking with Christ, those who are not walking with God. This is what happens to them. I know this might be hard to like di to understand, like, to digest because the truth is hard to accept, but this is how it is. This is exactly how it is. Okay. So as you see two people just talking, you know, randomly having a conversation, all hearts of sinners and unbelievers are being ruled by Satan's lies. Facts. All hearts of sinners and unbelievers are being ruled by Satan's lies. So as you see, a guy probably just got back from work. Boosh, this is exactly how it is. And see, when people are given over to urge, like watch pornography or to sin, this is exactly how it is. The demons keep people keep physically abusing people. That's what demons do to torment you, to steal, kill, and destroy you. Okay. Yeah, someone said put the full armor of God on. Let me pin that. Yep, exactly, man. This is how we fight back. Yes, sir. The demons often give people nightmares. Y'all notice when you have wet dreams, when you have intercourse in your dreams. That's a demon. That is a demon. That's a succubus spirit. Or for your sisters, that's an incubus spirit. Okay, no doctors, phys uh, uh, physicians, uh, psychic, or hold up, hold up. Sorry. Y'all know my English isn't the best. Let me read this again. So it says, let me go back. So it says, no doctors, no physicians, no uh, philosophers explain it to us what's wrong with your uh, sickness. Okay, so understand this, that when you have certain illnesses, it's all linked to spiritual stuff. You know, like people say mental health. 
you know, like depression or when you have like, you know, suicidal uh, thoughts, um, you know, things like anxiety. Okay. That's all spirit, a spiritual attacks. You got to understand. And I know this is going to be hard for some of you guys to accept because the things that are spirit, uh, the, the Bible says, let me read this verse. This is the one Corinthians chapter two, verse 14 says that, but the natural man received, um, not the things of the spirit of God for they are foolish unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Ooh, let me read that again, man. But the natural man, okay, the carnal man, okay, receive not the things of the spirit of God for they are foolishness into him. So the things that I'm saying in this video or this cartoon animation is foolish. It's just a joke to them, okay? And it says, neither can they know them. So no matter what I say to you, no matter how much I plant the seed, give you wisdom, knowledge, it won't matter. It says, because they are spiritually discerned. Okay. Ooh, that's deep. The word of God cuts deep, man. Okay. Someone says that's exactly how it is. Yep. Exactly. And yep. Yep. It says that people don't realize. Um, it says people don't realize the power of the, of the written word and words in general. Yes, guys, be careful about the words you speak out. Yep. It's called spelling for a reason. Words have power. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of, a lot of you guys who are battling like, you know, spiritual taxes because of words coming out of your mouth, your vocabulary. Okay, people like worry about the F word, the B word. And I'm not saying that you should say, you know, you should not say that, but I'm saying, or show you that you should say that, but I'm saying that you got to worry about the words, like saying that you're dead, that you're weak. You know how the words of vocabs that we, that we speak, you know, but this modern society, those are the words you got to watch out for. Because when you're saying things like you're dead or you're on demon time, you're opening demonic doors into your life, bro. So be careful about the words you speak. We know the Bible says it says death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. And I love it. That's why I'm always speaking good things out of my mouth. Even when I'm going on walks, when I'm working out, when I'm by myself, I'm speaking blessings out of my tongue because I know I'm going to eat the fruits thereof. And some people say I'm talking to myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to myself to speak blessings, to attract blessings into my life. I'm going to use my tongue for good. Some people use their tongue for evil without them even knowing. Just like I, that was once me. Okay, so always be speaking good things out of your, out of your mouth. Always. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm prospering, you know, I'm joyful, things like that. Those small things, you know, if you're battling, you know, sort of quote unquote depression or things like that, start thinking not only out of your mouth, but also your mind. Think positive thoughts because best believe when you're always giving over to a negative tongue, a negative mind, that's going to manifest in your life. Okay. So uh, no doctors, guys, could help you from your spiritual sickness. Okay. This is why we need a relationship with Jesus. We need to have the Holy Spirit, which teaches us all things. Okay, if you guys have already, make sure you guys smash the like button, like the video. All right, let's get it. Let's go. So it says, many doctors are being deceived into believing that Satan is not exist existing. Yep. Oh, yep. Many people. Okay. Many people are like that. So it's the dying people wanted to die in peace. Uh-oh, guys. Some of you guys won't be able to accept this. This man is one of the countless dying people. They had not expected to face their enemies. Okay, this is how it is, guys. We all know when we, we when we all die, all of us have to die. We all get judged. Okay, we all get judged according to our deeds. Okay, every idle mind, uh, any idle words that you speak will be, you know, you'll be held accountable. Every word. Demons take this man's soul to hell right away. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, man. The demons responsible for robbing all souls. Yes, guys, this is how it is. That's what the demons' job to do, to take you to hell. Satan and these demons, their job is to take your take you to the lake of fire. Because that's where they're going. Okay, that's that's Satan's job and these demons' jobs. So it says countless number of souls are being thrown like a water pump. This is exactly how it is, man. Without the vision, people perish, man. These videos are extremely powerful. Many number of Satan's kingdoms are posting and ruling with evil in the whole world. Yes, Satan has many kingdoms on this earth, the marine kingdom. And he gives power to people, you know, who, who sell their souls. You know, Satan gives those people power, but, you know, if they don't repent, they're on their way to the lake. The Bible says that all Christians are not controlled by the flesh under Satan's uh, weeds. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 9. Thanks to Jesus for delivering Christians from Satan's tranny and death. Someone says demons are soul hunters. Yeah. Yep. So it says one John chapter five, verse 19 says, we know that we are children of God 
and that the whole world is under control of the evil one. Every Christian knows that Satan still rules over the whole world. God promised the apostles that he would send his Holy Spirit to every Christian on earth. God commands all Christians to fight against all demons through their uh, pr uh, prayers. So the powerful prayers, you know, that's how that's our weapons. The Bible says our weapons of our warfare are not carnal. OK, so we fight back through prayer, through fasting. OK, through our obedience. This is how we fight back against these demonic kingdoms. So it says at Satan's a kingdom of the bottom of the sea. This is the marine kingdom. OK, I know a lot of religious people. They don't believe in this type of stuff. It's because they're carnal minded. So they don't, they don't believe in this type of stuff. But it's real. And it's here whether you believe it or not. So it says, I saw many of number of Christians in every territory is uh, increasing rapidly. Okay, so Satan sees that many people are uh, believing in, in the name of uh, Jesus. Okay, so you know Satan doesn't like that because Satan wants you to go to hell with him. He doesn't want you to ascend to the kingdom. Oh no! So the demons say, "Yes, Master, the word of God spreads over the entire territory under you." So Satan doesn't like that his territory is being occupied, being taken over by the kingdom of God. So what does Satan inform his demons, his children? To take them out, to send agents your way to take you out. So it's the demon says, yes, master, we will keep tempting them to sin. That's what demons do because God doesn't tempt us to sin. It's the, de the demons do that. The devil does that. Or sometimes you're giving over to your flesh. You can't always blame the devil. Sometimes it's you. Okay, so it says, I also will allow them to start churches um, and religious churches in my territory. Okay, so Satan allows, because Satan knows a lot of these religious churches, they don't. there's no truth in them. So it says we must separate all Christians from the Holy Spirit of Christ. That's the main goal of the enemy. Okay, Satan will allow you to be a Christian. Satan will allow you to read your Bible. As long as you're not applying to your life, oh, it's perfectly fine. Read your Bible all you want. Go to church. If you're not applying the word of God into your life, he's not bothered with you. Okay, we must also pressure them to seek the wrong kingdoms under me. Yes, Satan wants you to seek his kingdoms, the, 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 the deceitful kingdoms. He doesn't want you to seek God's kingdom. Okay, you must be responsible to stop every Christian from receiving the Holy Spirit. That's what Satan tells his demons and also the gifts of God. That's what Satan tells his demons. They're, they're warned for your souls every single day. So the demons are, are excited with pleasure, master. Okay, my master is the Lord Jesus. These demons and Satan's children, their master is Satan. Okay, so always understand that. Okay, the million numbers... Of Christians around uh, in the churches, the uh, in the whole world around you today, almost Christians are being brainwashed into believing that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are not necessary. A lot of people believe this, guys. <laughs> They're going to be the ones disliking the video. There are countless numbers of people attending Christian churches are dying and dead, spiritually dead. Many churches closed down. What happened? Simply, the churches did not have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Ooh, that's facts. That is facts. Okay, they were just operating under a religious spirit. They didn't have the gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you so much, Lou, for the super chat. Says happy Sabbath. Thank you for all your videos and speaking truth. Thank you so much, bro. So almost all Christians are being enslaved by their master, Satan. Yes, this is how it is, guys. This is exactly how it is. So it says, call for my demonic inspector now. Right, let me take this off real quick. So the demons come back to inform to their master, their handler, Satan. Yes, that's their handler. Okay, I want you to go and inspect every church in my territory carefully. Okay, I don't want them to be involved with the, with the powerful gifts of the Holy Spirit. Go now and report back to me. These demons, they come to you guys, these agents, they come to you, and they got to report back to their handler. They got to report back to Satan to let, to let them know, do the mission pass or do the mission fail? Because if the mission pass, they're going to be ranked up. Satan's going to bless them, quote unquote, bless them. We all know his blessings lead to curses, but Satan's, they're going to rank up in Satan's kingdom. It's just like God's kingdom. When you're doing the works of God, when you're being obedient, God ranks you up. God levels you up spiritually. Okay, it's the same thing with the demonic kingdoms because Satan is a copycat. Oops. My bad. I did not know. That was like some random music uh, that popped up in the video. Okay, so the demon manifests in a church. Okay. Someone says, what happens? Someone says, it says false Christian worship. So, so uh, someone says, oh, oops, I clicked the wrong thing. It says, uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Someone asked a great question. Where did it go? Oh, someone said right there. Okay, so it says, what happens if they fail? Satan punishes them. If they fail to do their mission, Satan punishes them. Just like how God punishes those who have those talents. 
who are lazy and slothful, God punishes those who didn't do the, the will of God. Same thing with Satan. Satan punishes those who fail to do the mission. Okay. So deadly bo boring church service. What's up, bro? So here's here's the religious people. A lot of guys, a lot of religious people, they don't understand. That, I know this might be hard for y'all to accept, but a lot of them are, are in bondage to these demons, man. They they're all religious, right? They know the Bible and all that, but they don't have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They don't even have the Holy Spirit. Okay. And this is exactly how it is. This is exactly how it is, man. Says so, uh, Dylan says so the, the the prayer meetings are are so deadly spiritual and uses exactly exactly this is how a lot of churches are guys y'all are praying and you're simple minded so you think that oh you know this is holy this is righteous but without the Holy Spirit without the gifts of the Holy Spirit it's useless okay the dead church is a social club a lot of these churches have become a social club uh oh a lot of y'all not gonna like this the woman church you know we know that the Bible says we suffer not a woman to teach okay a woman's supposed to be quiet in the church but then you have woman pastors okay it's not god's will for you women to be pastors i know y'all don't want to accept this because you hate the bible you hate the truth because that's what the bible says that's not what mark the messenger says the bible says that and you really have to humble yourself and accept the word of god okay and that's what the bible says if a woman wants to learn anything ask her husband at church but a lot of y'all don't have husbands y'all don't want husbands because you feel like you are the husband Okay, so this is so let's go, let's go back here. So I'm gonna ask a great question. Like the chat is being lit right now, man. Y'all blowing it up. So the, okay, let me check this out. There's a church that's being filled with the with the fire of the Holy Spirit. So you see the demons like, uh oh. <laughs> Say the demon, the 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 agent is like, uh oh. He know he can't touch that church because that's filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's why I tell you guys, there's nothing to fear when you have the Holy Spirit. There's nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear, guys. The demons are afraid of you. This is a perfect animation. This is perfect to see that. The demons are afraid of you. So as you can see, there's children. Um, they're filled with the power, the gifts of the of the tongue, prophecy, dancing, and worshiping. Okay, so as you can see, they're filled with the Holy Spirit. And see the demons, they could only look. Remember, the Bible says that the wicked watch the righteous and seek to slay them. Aren't what these demons are doing right now? They're watching the righteous, they're seeking to destroy, they're seeking to slay. That's what some people in your life, you chosen ones, this is what you all have to deal with. You're going to have demons working through human beings. They watch you. They watch everything they do, you do. And they're just waiting to, for a train wreck. They're waiting for you to open a door to attack. They're waiting to see you fall. They're waiting to see you destroyed, man. There's a lot of people who watch my channel. Okay, they watch all my videos, right? Never hit the like button, never show no support, but they just watch, they watch, they watch. Demons, man. Okay, so the demonic army is attacking on this on this fire church. So see what happens, guys. Watch what happens. So as you see, remember, their weapons are not carnal. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So they're 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 fighting back against these demons through their prayer. And see, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, your prayers, it won't matter against these demons. But once you have the Holy Spirit, you're being obedient. This is how it is. Check this out. This is how it is. What's up, Donna Lee says, hi, Brother Mark. Finally caught a lie. Love this animation. God bless. Thank you so much. Yeah, check out Fox 600, guys. Ch uh, check out Fox 600. Someone says, nah, a church I went to a woman was speaking, man. Dang. Yeah, a lot of churches. In, I mean, this is Babylon. So there's women are in rule, uh, rulership over us. I mean, you see more women preaching more than men. And that's bad on you, you brothers. You Us brothers should be preaching too, you know? But a lot of men, they don't want to give up. They don't want to give up lust, the lust of the flesh. So they're weak. Someone says eight millimeter prayer. Yeah, that's how it is. I got, yeah, hey, but see, it might look, it might sound funny, but this is how it is, man. This is how it is. 
So all demons are being shot and falling down to the abyss of hell. They're going backward to where they belong. They're going back to their sender. So the demonic, the, the powerful demonic ar army was gone. See, they fought back through prayer. Okay. And see, as you can see, the Holy Spirit warned them that they were being attacked. The Holy Spirit will warn you when these agents come your way. And it will, it will tell you what to do. It will equip you. Okay. When these witches come your way, you know, the witches who play with their tarot cards, their crystals, their sage, their horoscopes. These witches who come your way, the Holy Spirit will let you know. Yep, the Bible says that there's a time of war. There's a time for war, a time for love, and a time for hate. It says, no, what am I doing? I am finished. Satan will be mad at them. Okay, Satan's going to be mad at them. Better, better to tell him that lie. Everything is under control. Yep. What? You want me to sell it? Hey, but Satan is a father of lies. So that means these demons, uh, they be lying too. <laughs> they be lying to each other and all that. So, so look what happens when they lie to their master saying, look what happens. Thank you so much, Mitchell, for the super chat. Says, God bless. Love the videos, Mark. Keep preaching. Thank you so much, bro. So look what happened to these demons. It says, demonic expectors is being put in a prison in Satan's kingdom. Yep. This is how it is, guys. You you, you fool inspector. This is Satan speaking. It says, lie to me, your respectful master. So it says, he, Satan's punishing them for failing to stop Christians from receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's what it's all about, guys. He wants to stop you from receiving the Holy Spirit. He wants to stop you from receiving the gifts. That's the most powerful thing. People think this is going to church and reading their Bible, and that's it. That's a car, that's carnal minded, man. So it says, Master, who was who who uh, was Jesus called a liar and the father of lies? Uh, it says, uh, Satan says him and and the slave humans on earth. And that's why we followed their example. So the demons are telling them we followed him because Satan is a father of lies. So, of course, these demons are going to be lying, too. So it says, you fool, you can lie to the Christians on earth. <laughs> but but no lie to me, never. Man, these animations is lit. Someone says that New Age stuff is demonic. Yeah, it is, man. Totally demonic. Jesus said to the stubborn religious people, you belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out his desires. He was a murderer from the beginning refusing to uphold the truth because there's no truth in him. When he tells a lie, he speaks his own from his own tongue because he is a liar and the father of lies. That's John chapter 8, verse 44. Beware of Satan's lies and his works. Yep. Absolutely, Rudy Press. Yep. Someone says you can't lie to the Holy Spirit. Exactly. So what I was saying that a lot of people have already received the mark. A lot of people don't even know they're in bondage. They're to Satan's kingdom. They think that going to church, reading their Bible, praying a couple times a week. They think that's that's all you have to do. They don't want to receive the Holy Spirit. They don't want to operate in the gifts of the Holy or receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit and actually use it because Christ tell us that. He gave a man talents. One had five, one had two, one had one. So that means they all had the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Some of them had more than others, but regardless, they all had the gifts. And that lazy one received the gifts, and he didn't want to put it to use. He wanted to be lazy. He wanted to come up with man-made doctrine to keep him in sin, to keep him in bondage. And those demons, guys, they love. They love when you're lazy. They love when you're slothful. They love when you give up the fight. Because when, when, that means they could just totally destroy you. Remember, Christ warned us. That when you go back, there's seven spirits that come back and they were they're worse than, than you were the first time. So live a life of repentance. Actually believe in the word, apply it into your life, okay, and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. This is how we fight back and also through prayer. So when you are being demonically attacked or when these agents are being sent your way, make sure you have the Holy Spirit. Make sure you're obedient because your prayers are powerful. They're gonna reach out to heaven. And they're going to, you all saw the animation, guns will be fired back at these demons, man. So thank you so much, champion, 
for the super chat says vast majority of churches are corrupted because vast majority of the bishops, priests, pastors, they are bought and paid for no different from the old te uh, testimony, testament. Pretty much saying. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it says almost as Satan literally rules this world. He is here on earth right now. Oh, yeah. The Bible says that in Job chapter one, Satan is, in, is it, uh, on the earth, walking up and down from it. Someone says they sub to Fox 600. Yeah, y'all, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to that to that channel, man. Fox 600. Uh, he's the one who creates his animations. People be asking me all the time, and I mean it's so true. Like I've learned so much from watching these videos, guys. Like he was the first YouTuber who I, when God was calling me, remember many are called Fruit Shows, and he was the first YouTuber that I found on YouTube. And like I, I became obsessed with his videos, bro. I was like in a good way, you know. I was just, like just eye opening, and I feel like you know God was is definitely using his vessels. His vessels, sorry, to reach out to you know give us wisdom and knowledge. So you know, I hope you guys are taking heed. You know, that's why I tell you guys with all this religious stuff, man. If you don't love God and you're just you just when you're religious, you're no earthly good. Okay, when you're overly religious, even the Bible says, "Don't be uh, overwise, don't be over righteous. You destroy yourself." Okay, and this is this is how the churches are. It's just boring. A lot of churches are just boring, bro. There's no Holy Spirit. It's just boring. Fall, yeah, fall asleep. You don't want to be at a church where you're falling asleep, guys. And, and if you're falling asleep, okay, that means I, I hope that, I mean, if you're falling asleep, that, that's not even just bad on that church. It's also bad on you, you know? So as you can see, these are religious men. The Bible is the word of God, and they're holding up their Bible, and they're all religious, right? No Holy Spirit. And see, the demons, they they know when they, they can say, you may be able to fool human beings. You may be able to fool your followers, but you're not going to be able to fool God, and you're not going to be able to fool these demons. These demons, they, they see the fakeness, okay? You're not going to be able to fool God, obviously, but you're also not going to be able to fool Satan and these demons. Okay, look at them. They're having a prayer meeting, and they think that everything's okay, right? But it's completely spiritually dead and useless without the Holy Spirit. And that's why I, I really want to push on you guys to, like, to really understand that this is spiritual warfare 24-7. Some of these churches are a social club. Literally, you have some of these churches guys that have concerts, rock concerts. I mean, that's just that's just a red flag. And then you have women pastors, women teach women teaching, you know, men, women, women being leaders, which we all know what the Bible says about that. One Timothy chapter two, verse ten to fifteen. Uh, One Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse 34, 33 to four, uh, thirty-four. Okay, we, we scriptures on scriptures, line up precept upon precept. Thank you so much, Tia, for the super chat, or sorry, for the super sticker. Appreciate you, sis. Someone says saying is my art. <laughs> Learning not knowledge is power. Yep, absolutely, Lisa. Knowledge is power. The Bible says in the last days, knowledge will increase. Okay, a lot of us didn't know about this. All of us didn't know about any of this type of stuff five, ten years ago. So, but as we get on to the last days, a lot of us are going to be more awakened. We're going to be more and more and more awakened. So, someone says. And I knew someone, someone simple-minded wasn't going to say this. Someone says, so the Bible is not the word of God. That's not, see, this is what happens when you don't have understanding. Obviously, the Bible is the word of God. But when you're just religious and you, you believe the Bible is the word of God, but you don't have the Holy Spirit and you're not operating the gifts of the Holy Spirit, that people just think that the Bible is the word of God. That's it. I'm saved. And I'm telling. this is why I'm, this animation, I'm so glad Fox 600, he breaks us down spiritually because if you can't understand this animation, Remember, but without the without a vision, the people perish. If you can't clearly understand this and you're still confused, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. And I, and I knew someone simple minded was going to say that. I knew it. Like someone was like trying to discredit the animation. Faith without works is dead. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, C. Carter, for the super sticker. Appreciate you. Uh, wisdom, the, yes, there you go. There you go. Yep. Wisdom to fear the Lord, understanding depart from evil. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, Rafael Flores, thank you for the super chat. Says, pray for me to receive messages and visions of what I needed to do with my life. Thank you for speaking the truth every day. Thank you so much. Yes, I got you on my prayers, bro. Uh, and make sure, too, guys, and this goes for every one of you guys, not just Rafael, make sure you're praying for yourself. Like, that's the most important thing. Like, make, make sure you're seeking God for yourself. Like, there's nothing wrong with asking people to pray for you because the Bible does say, the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. There's nothing wrong with asking people um, 
to print to, you know, hey, reach out for me for prayers. Maybe you're in a weak point, whatever, whatever reason, right? But make sure you're praying for yourself just as much. Like make sure you're having that same energy and make sure you really have that burning passion, burning desire to live for God. Because once you do that, guys, you're gonna level up. And then once you level up, like I always tell you guys, new levels, new devils. These devils are gonna pop up because like just like this animation shows you, they don't want you to have the Holy Spirit. They don't want you to operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So these demons, when you level, they're gonna they're gonna manifest in your life. They're gonna work through your family. They're gonna work through your friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, uh, your coworkers. Okay, they're gonna try to use anybody who's not walking in truth. So I hope. I really hope you guys gain wisdom and understanding. Remember, the Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, ask God so he'll give it to you. Okay, so if you are any, if you ever find yourself confused or, or lacking understanding, make sure you ask God for wisdom and he will give you freely. You don't have to go to the store and spend a hundred bucks for wisdom, you know? God will give it to you freely. It's a spiritual gift. You must desire the spiritual gifts too, though. You can't just say you want wisdom, right? But you're out here doing the opposite, living life like a total fool, Okay. Thank you so much. Alex G for the Super Chat says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24, 26. That's a good one, bro. Yep, that's a good one. Thank you so much. Oh, I haven't seen you in a minute. Shubla, thank you, bro. I haven't, I haven't, man, that's an OG support. That's an OG subscriber. What's up, bro? So it says, someone says, get baptized. Yes, absolutely. Baptism is important. I always, I, I have multiple videos on baptism. Yes, baptism is very important. Some people don't believe in that no more. I don't know why, but baptism is 100% important. Uh, thank you so much, Vaughn Jr. says, thank you, almighty God, for using you, Mark, to give us the truth and opening our eyes, learning so much, life-changing, treating every episode of church. Thank you, bro. And, and make sure, you, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to Fox 600 on YouTube. Okay, uh, he's the one who makes this. So I see people in the chat asking who makes this for like the hundredth time. I'll leave it in the description too. Um, I'll leave, I, I think I already put it there on the, uh, the channel. Make sure you guys check him out. I see y'all leaving his name on, on the uh, chat. So yeah, make sure uh, y'all check him out. Uh, thank you, Mark, for your videos. Brought me out of sin. Wow, that's that's his God right there. Uh, Kelly's Kal hopefully I'm saying your name right, sis. That's that's God right there. So all praises the most high for that. But I hope you guys got edified from this video. Uh, if you guys missed it, don't worry. This will be on my channel most likely on Monday. Um, that's why you guys got guys turn on the post notifications so you guys could be, be in tune with my live streaming. Um, and I just hope you guys stay blessed. I also, I made an animation cartoon too on my uh, on my Patreon. So you guys make sure you check out my Patreon channel. It's at uh, Mark the Messenger. I have a whole bunch of videos on there too as well. Thank you so much, Jackin, for the super sticker. Uh, someone says, "Wait, it just disappeared." Someone, what the heck? Did someone delete your message? Or something? I don't know where it just went, but you said some real stuff, man. Dang it. It just disappeared. I guess I guess it just disappeared, man. Are you serious? Whatever. Yeah, there you go. There you go. No, that's not the one I wanted, but that's the channel right there, guys. For our, it's no spaces. But yeah, y'all, y'all make sure y'all check him out. Um Sigma twenty two uh, Tiger twenty four says, "Amen." Chosen ones definitely see this clearly. Yep, they do. Matthew chapter thirteen verse sixteen says, Bl "Blessed, spiritually aware, and favored by God are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear." Absolutely, facts. That deserves a clap. That's a great scripture. Hundred percent, man. We're able to see what other people aren't able to see. That's just how it is. And see, they're gonna call you crazy and weird because God has given you eyes to see, and they haven't. They haven't been given eyes to see. Maybe not yet. So, um, you know, it's, it's just very important, guys, to really walk in the spirit so you won't feel the lust of the flesh. And don't be fooled by all Because I'm seeing in these last days, guys, all these doctrines are being, people are just are confused. All these doctrines are being pushed out. And the main message of this video, guys, is have a relationship with Jesus, okay? Yes, and be aware of spiritual warfare. Be aware of Satan's schemes. Because best believe, he is out here to destroy you, okay? And without wisdom... Without walking in the spirit, without the Holy Spirit, you won't be able to know. Because anyone who has the Holy Spirit and is walking in power of the Holy Spirit is not going to be led to confusion. Because the Holy Spirit reveals all things. It leads you to all truth, as the word says. Okay, so I, thank you so much for leaving that scripture. And, and guys, if you ever see me live, spam scriptures, spam it. And make sure, like, like I'm glad that you left the actual entire verse. Because some people will just leave 
like Matthew chapter 13, verse 16, and they won't put the verse on it. So it's like, what the heck, you know? So I'm so glad. Thank you so much, uh, Sigma Tiger, for actually leaving that verse. That's a powerful verse, man. Uh, thank you so much, Sober, for the super sticker. Thank you, bro. I just want to shout out all you guys before I leave. It says, hold up, don't end the live. I will try again. Wait, what, what do you mean, uh, super sticker? It says, hold up, don't end the live. Uh, I go live every Friday, guys. Turn on those post notifications. I go live every Friday. Wow, thank you so much, uh, Beard War Zombie, for the super chat. It says, my God, bless you, everyone. Thank you so much, bro. It disappeared. My Yeah, I don't know where it went. Jacqueline, I, have, I don't know where it went. It just, like... I hope a mod I didn't delete the message, but I don't know where it went. Thank you so much, Mario, for the super sticker too. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much, guys. I'm out. Peace.